Hello and welcome to The Jam, the Film Fumblers Jam, the show where a few friends fumble through your favorite films. Today we are reviewing Space Jam, a movie released in 1996 and directed by Joe Pitka. So without further ado, my name's Adrian. I'm Jay. And I'm Taryn. All right, try casting today. Um, it's been a while since all four of us have been together and hopefully next episode, Space Jam 2. Yeah. The hopefully. sequel will be... Yeah, James uh, got bit by a tarantula right on the neck, lost his voice. So he can't be here tonight. <laughs> yeah. But I'm happy to be here. It feels like so long since I've been on the show. I don't know. Every yeah. time every time it feels like a long time, but also because I think I missed... Was it just one episode? Maybe just one episode in between. We've been taking some breaks. We've been doing a lot of traveling. We've been going all over the place. So, Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But it feels good to be back. So, um, Space Jam today, man, I, okay, so 90, 1996, all of us were little kids when this came out. I don't remember, like, okay, so this came out so close to, you know, when I was, when I was a baby, I was like, did I, was I into the Looney Tunes and then I was just into Space Jam or was like, did Space Jam just boom, like throw Looney Tunes onto the map in my childhood brain? Yeah, no know. chance. Uh, about the looney tunes being first dude this movie brought them back so fucking hard like before this yeah. they were just like oh those old ass fucking cartoons they would show sometimes maybe like the baby what are they called the baby tunes what are they fucking oh called? the oh yeah what were those called like baby the, kids? Kids, the real maybe little maybe. kids version yeah yeah maybe yeah. that but like dude yeah this like for me it was put it back on the map for sure I definitely watch like Animaniacs, which I know is not the same, but like it's in the same kind of realm. Right, uh, yeah. But yeah, totally. For me, this was like the. I don't know. I feel like the Looney Tunes are like things that you've seen around everywhere for as long as you've lived, but like probably haven't watched any of the episodes. And I mean, it's different for us because we live in Albuquerque and there's the whole Bugs Bunny thing with Albuquerque. Oh, yeah. So, like, oh, that yeah. came up a lot. Mm -hmm. But outside of that, I didn't watch shit from them. But I, I've probably seen this movie like sixty fucking times, dude. Same so, here. Man. I was yep. a kid. Shit was on repeat, nonstop. Yeah, we were dude. the perfect age for this movie when it came out, dude. Like, yeah, I hadn't seen it in a long fucking time, and I still remembered almost every line, like what scenes were yeah. coming up and yeah, shit. I was yeah. like, wow, I did not expect that shit, dude. Yeah, Me either. So right from the top, I was like. I knew, so a lot of the movies we do, I'm just like, okay, I'm sure I've seen this kind of as a kid, maybe. This one, I was like, no, I watched the shit out of this movie. Like, mm -hmm. I watched this movie on repeat. And so I knew that I, had, that I like, really experienced this movie. And I was kind of afraid to revisit it because it had such a special place in my childhood, you know? Right. And I was just like, fuck, is it going to age? I was like, and then I, like, looked at just some reviews on, you know, you Google Space Jam 1, and the reviews are terrible. Like, it's just not... <laughs> yeah. A well-received movie by critics at least and i was just yeah. like shit it's gonna be so bad but i don't know man i was laughing all the way through like the, <laughs> the, the, the yeah. comedy was so stupid but it just it worked so well and i had such a blast revisiting this like i'm i'm really happy that i did totally um before we get too far in i don't know if we should address the fact that we're not taking a shot oh man we're a little we well, that, that ship the, is sailed i think we can give the <laughs> space for everybody and we can just yeah. cheers more. yeah we'll do a little cheers i mean i'm still drinking a beer i think we're all yeah recovering yeah, from our travels a beer i got i got cheers one. everybody cheers y'all cheers but yeah but yeah the, oh, there's ahead. definitely like a lot of humor that was actually funny like and when you're a kid you don't pick those things up but watching it again I was dying, dude. Like some of the yeah. like where they're all the little aliens are in the trench coat and the, <laughs> that wife like turns over and is like, This guy's doing something weird as fuck in this trench coat next to me. You know, like that show is so funny. Just going on the yeah. floor. Yeah. yeah, but I also kind of what's what's funny is like the comedy that landed for me was the same comedy that would have landed when I was like five years old watching this. Like when Elmer's when Elmer Fudd's head gets smashed in by the ramp from the spaceship, I'm just like, it's fucking hilarious. Like it's just, it, it's just yeah. like I don't know why it was so funny. Classic Looney Tunes shit. But yeah, dude, yeah. this time, like as an adult, 
I feel like all of the Bill Murray stuff hit so fucking hard for me that I that probably like didn't really at all when I was a kid because like there's a lot of weird jokes like meta yeah. jokes with him and like this time I was like fuck this shit is so good. <laughs> Dude, I forgot yeah. he was in it until he came up. Like he he Me first too. appears at the golf scene, right? Yeah, first, yeah. He first with his umbrella hat, the ridiculous. <laughs> so fucking good. I want that hat. <laughs> yeah, Dude, yeah. Um, I totally like didn't remember. So Bill Murray, if he had, if he hasn't already, definitely in the Fumbliverse. What Royal Tenenbaums, Fantastic Mr. Fox, Groundhog um, Day, Groundhog Day, yeah, Space Jam. We can't stay away from Bill Murray. Wayne Knight, too. Wayne Knight, yeah. What, oh, what else is Wayne Knight? Just Jurassic Park, and then... Jurassic Park, and maybe another one? There has to be another know. one, I think. There was a few when I was some... looking that were, like, very subtle Fumblerverse inductees. Oh, yeah. One some of the... Dive. One of the... What are they called? The Monstars or whatever? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. One of their, like, the big versions of them. One of their voices was... Oh, shit, what's his name? One of the dudes from the thing, like, not sh um, oh, not shit. Oh my god, not Childs. Childs, the other black guy, was huh. one of them. I was like, what the fuck? That's so random. That's cool. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. There was a couple like that. I was like, oh, interesting. Nice. Yeah. Again, I'm sad that James isn't here because all of the, all of like the old school basketball references and stuff, like, completely fly over my head, and I've. I'm excited for James to be on Space Jam 2, though, for to, for all of that to come to fruition and him just yeah. lay it all on us. But And then I'm especially sad because the Knicks were featured in this, in in this a movie with playing against the Suns, who are currently in the finals. I think they're up 2-1 right now. Yes, sir. Um, Are you? Yeah, so that's um, kind of exciting. Yeah. We, have, we need, like, a Knicks games. count or something, dude. I feel like they're in dude, all kinds seriously. of fucking movies. How does that happen? Popular, dude. Weird. No matter how bad they are, they're so popular. I was going to slam James and say that all it took for the Knicks to start winning was fucking aliens to come down and <laughs> steal the talent from the other team. <laughs> no, isn't Patrick Charles Ewing on the Knicks? Well, they, it, they start with Charles Barkley. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They start yeah. winning, and then they start getting okay. everybody. okay. But for yeah. that brief moment, I was like, damn. <laughs> yeah. Still need that. <clears throat> Dude, rough. besides those two... I was like, oh, I guess... Uh, no, never mind. I don't know who any of those motherfuckers are. Like, Muggsy, right? He's like a real famous... Yeah, because like, he's really short or whatever, right? Yeah, but, like kind of the only thing I didn't recognize any of their names. And then I was actually listening to a different podcast about this movie today. And like it turns out that... the I think it was Michael Jordan, his agent or something... It's like all of their agents, so it's like, okay, that makes more oh, sense. Oh, that, uh, that makes sense. Because, like, if they wanted the best, there was, like, Shaq and all kinds of other people they could have got. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, Shaq and Kobe, like, yeah. yeah. And they but... threw a little, like, nod to the Lakers when Daffy is, like, getting his... He's yeah, like, but I prefer yellow and gold or whatever. That wasn't actually to the Lakers. That was to like a um fraternity or something, right? That Michael was in oh, really? in his college or that was like their colors. Like I read some bit of tri trivia that it was Oh really? A nod to the a fraternity and not the because I thought that too. I was like, oh purple yeah. and yellow, like the Lakers. Oh uh, purple. Shaq yeah, was yeah. in the background actually in one of the scenes. He wasn't on the Lakers at this time. I forgot what team he was on. But oh. he was in the background somewhere. I was like, oh shit. I didn't notice him, but that's cool. The Lakers were the team that were in the hallway, though. <laughs> With the fucking gas mask. That shit was funny as fuck. Oh, that's right. Yeah, they oh, were in LA. That's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. There's a little bit of COVID. Uh... Oh, God. We can't get yeah, dude. From it. <laughs> Safety of our yeah, players. Yeah, they're just like, yeah, they're just like, we don't, we don't want to get any germs or whatever. They're like, oh, it's in New York. How could it possibly get to LA in a day? And it's like, brother, you haven't lived through a pandemic. Like, come on. <laughs> yeah. Dude, wait twenty some years. Yeah, yeah. One of the things I was super fucking surprised about were the basketball players, like in their acting and like their line delivery was hilarious, dude. Charles Barkley. Yeah. I don't know. Like, what is he when he's praying and shit? Like all those like line deliveries oh, are so funny. funny, dude. Yeah. I yeah. mean, their like whole like getting their talent sucked was like <laughs> not, you know, it was pretty rough, but. Uh... Hey, Patrick, him got hit in the face a couple times. I don't know, yeah, it doesn't seem yeah. easy. <laughs> yeah. 
that's a good point. Uh, for me, the like the crazy wave of nostalgia hit when they take it to space and they go to Mon Mountain and shit. Mm-hmm. For some reason, like that scene just stick. It stuck out to me like so much of just remembering them doing that. Uh huh. Um, yeah. but that whole like seeing that as an adult is so much funnier, dude. The whole concept of like Moron Mountain, Magic Mountain, and how, <laughs> yeah. and how freaking <laughs> yeah. that dude is just like a greedy asshole, and it was really, it was like really good. There was a lot of shit in here that was just like such an interesting i don't know it's just weird to see people comment on things like that even back then like all of the like super fast uh brand drops that wayne knight does when we saw my god jordan yeah put your hands on lace up your nikes eat your wheaties get your gatorade (laughs) and we'll pick up a big mac on the way it's like one sentence with all of the perfect thing about that though is that that those were all sponsorship deals that michael jordan had at that time like right at that time so it was just like every single one dude they were probably like you have to put these in and they just did it in one fucking (laughs) shot and say how (laughs) one sentence yeah Yeah. dude there's a i love the meta shit like that dude like what is it like daffy kissing his own ass that has the warner brothers thing he's like kissing warner brothers ass literally oh, dude, that, that was yeah and then was um <laughs> when they're at the we're at my, they're at michael jordan's house and then like the room is full of like i don't know just toys and shit he's like hey you see those lunch boxes with their faces on them he's like you, get, you ever see any money from that yeah. like, no man <laughs> yeah. we're getting screwed on yeah. that <laughs> so funny. i need to get a better agent yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> oh man and then the digs at disney uh, were fucking good too yeah there was a few of those what the the ducks one right like yeah. who would name a yeah. team after the ducks like what kind of mickey mouse thing are yeah. they wanted it to kind of be warner brothers wanted kind of maybe not a crossover but to like have some characters from the disney universe i think they wanted mickey to be the referee yeah um, it's like this like verbal oh, okay. deal they had after who framed roger rabbit right yeah they're like all right we they thought it was gonna be yeah, yeah. Which, speaking of Who Framed Roger Rabbit, that's kind of the reason that Bill Murray was in this one. Like, I think he had an opportunity to get into Who Framed Roger Rabbit and didn't take it, and he, like, really regretted it. So he's like, I need to be in some kind of animated crossover kind of thing. Yeah. Which, yeah, so speaking to the whole animation crossover to, like, reality thing, it was, like, less hard to watch than i thought it would be you know what i mean as an adult i was just like this is gonna be rough like Uh and of course there was the big the big thick outlines around michael and the green screen you know kind of but it wasn't like that bad i was impressed yeah there was a couple that were really bad like when they put him into a ball or whatever michael jordan that okay like there's a couple and the super cursed fucking wayne knight blow up scene or whatever oh yeah but besides that like there was some good shit that held up pretty well i thought Dude, I didn't even mind when he, they turn him into a ball. Like, it's 96, and they at least tried that. Yeah. yeah. Like, I think I would prefer that over what they're doing in Space Jam 2, where they're just also making him an animated character for some of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's that's going to be right. kind of weird. I forgot about that. We watched the trailer, on I think, on a pre-show. I haven't seen the trailer since. It's you can watch our reactions on trailer. our YouTube channel if you would like to. Yeah. yeah There's yeah. another trailer now, too. I, don't, I haven't seen the second one. Ah, maybe in the after show. Yeah, yeah, like, you're talking about crossovers, dude. This looks like fucking Ready Player One, but with movies. Dude, that's what... I I think that's, like, already what I'm so bugged about um, the the second Space Jam. It just feels like, let's throw in as many possible references as we fucking can. And even even in the trailer, it's just like, okay, there's literally every character that has ever existed, like yeah it's just it's just annoying i don't know i don't know what it is and the iron giant was literally in ready player one as yeah. well so like yeah i don't know dude <laughs> yeah. yeah i guess we'll see i um, hated ready player one so much me but, too you know, I, that. yeah anyway there was there, there was a couple no maybe not a couple there was one for sure there was a in this movie like an outside reference the monolith from 2001 a space odyssey is just in the shot where they're flying to Mountain Mountain at the beginning, I guess. It's oh, inside. nice. All right. I was like, damn, that's cool. that's sick. <laughs> oh, I missed that. That was pretty cool. Nice. Did you, so um, did you guys have... So we talked about how 
this kind of relaunched the Looney Tunes. And it started out with some commercials for Hair Jordans. And I watched one of the commercials and it's ridiculous, but it's, you know, it's like 1993 or something. It's pretty old, but it was, I guess, this line of shoes that they were doing some kind of crossover with. But, uh -huh. um, yeah, so that's that's really kind of what, br what brought the Looney Tunes back. And that's how we all, as kids, kind of grew up with the Looney Tunes. But did you guys have, like, a favorite Looney Tunes character? I mean, were you, were you like, into it after this movie at all? Or I think for sure. I remember having this vhs for sure but also like just little compilations of yeah other looney tunes shit but i don't know a favorite probably either i don't know the bugs bunny ones are still fucking hilarious but also like the wily coyote ones i like a lot oh i feel like yeah, yeah i feel like wily coyote was one of the main shows that i actually did watch i remember watching that a lot sure. i didn't really go like start watching them after this but i, I think there was like a time where Cartoon Network or one of those channels started doing like a throwback thing. Mm, yeah, yeah. Or Boomerang or whatever. Remember that? Oh, show? yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. I don't remember where it was. And I'd watch some of them and they would be funny. Um, but I didn't really get much into them. I, I think I have a f like favorites, like Bugs, of course. Yeah. Um, I really like Taz. I had like stickers yeah. of him as a kid oh, that yeah. I remember. But yeah, it, it, I don't know. For some reason, I really liked this movie, but I, it didn't like suck me down that hole of the Looney Tunes as much as I thought it would. Yeah, I feel it like suck you down the golf hole. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel like it was, this movie and the fact that they were at like all the Six Flags locations maybe helped. Do you guys remember those? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. That's true. I don't know. I forgot about that. Are they still? I feel like I haven't seen them. Uh, so some I think. Hmm. Interesting. Not sure. I've yeah, been doing it in a fucking long time. I think uh, my favorites are probably the same as Jay. Definitely Bugs and Taz. But like, shout out to Daffy Duck. Like he's just such an eccentric character. Like, mm -hmm. and, and yeah. then in this movie, like, even more so. I don't know. It's his his character is just so much fun. Yeah, for sure. Really fun. And his relationship with Bugs is is really good too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love them together. Yeah. Definitely. Um. Yeah, Bill, we, Taryn was kind of talking about this earlier, but Bill Murray's stuff that he added to this movie was like, I mean, as a kid, you probably miss 100% of it, but I appreciate it so much more now. And I read this like whole thing about how he got involved in shit, and like there's a line in the movie where he's like, oh, I'm friends with the producer, which is yeah. like, true. Yeah. That's how he yeah. got in. But all the little things of like, when... Uh, Wow, what is the the fucking boss's name? The alien boss? Oh, ha Wax Sucker Swackhammer. Swack Swackhammer. Yeah. When he like Danny DeVito's character. Yeah, when he's like, oh, I didn't know Dan Aykroyd was in this movie. Yeah. <laughs> that shit was gold. Just like straight roasts him, like holy shit. Yeah. Um, but for some reason, the joke of his that got me the most was when Mike, like he, Wayne Knight's about to take the picture of Michael and he gets sucked in the hole. <laughs> And he just goes, what kind of camera is that? Don't yeah. put that over here. Just throws it. it was so good. <laughs> like, I feel like you could feel his, like, improv skills in that. Yeah, in yeah. That, it probably wasn't things. scripted. Dude, one of my yeah. favorite lines is from him at the end. When he, like, when they're, when they're at the basketball game or whatever, like, at the real life one. <laughs> he's like, yeah, dude, just give up on your dreams, man, or whatever. And he's just like, Let's go balls. <laughs> like that voice crack oh, or whatever. Yeah. It's so <laughs> yeah. funny, dude. It's a little sad. Yeah, oh, that God. Good. That is good. Um, all right. So I have another question. So I feel like basketball for this movie, I mean, obviously it just really worked. Like that mashup really seemed seamless. If this, if, okay, if we're in like an alternate reality and this is about a different sport and a different star athlete, what sport would be like the obvious next pick and, and what athlete comes to mind? You in know what I mean? Same like time the time period? Um, or any? In the same time. Well, okay, let me just say that I don't know enough about sports to go back to 1996. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But like, like for me, the obvious choice for me right now just kind of seems like football and Tom Brady. 
You know, oh, like I fucking just... would hate that so much. But like, that's the thing is like Tom Brady is such a divisive person, and it I don't know is is my, Michael kind of is in a in his yeah, own right in a I way. No, not as much I think. Yeah, definitely not as much. Yeah, I think he's more praised as like one of the goats, you know. But he's also like an asshole, right? In real life, isn't he? Who Tom Michael Brady Jordan. or Michael Jordan? Michael Jordan. Mike, kind of, yeah. I've <laughs> definitely guys seen the last that he's dance. Not... I haven't the finished it. The Last Dance, that documentary series that came out last year. No, everyone was crazy about it though. I watched like no, half yeah. of it, and it's fucking really good. I don't know why I didn't finish it, but yeah, he's kind of a cocky guy. I mean, kind of deservedly so. I mean, he's really yeah, fucking he, good. He's just he, he's very well aware that he's like the best, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But then that goes into the conversation. Space Jam Two coming up. LeBron James, right? I'm not educated enough to to get into that argument at all. LeBron James versus Michael Jordan, but right. holy shit, man! What what a crazy what a crazy universe where like the two people that everyone is fighting over to be the greatest of all time get the same fucking movie 25 years apart. <laughs> Makes what, sense. Man. Makes dollars yeah. too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh fuck. Um, but yeah, I, I I think I'd agree with you. Football probably. Yeah. yeah, and if it was back then, I, I I don't know. I feel like some kind of cowboy player. Yeah, I was gonna say like yeah. Smith or something, Troy Aikman. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. I was like, yeah. I was like, who the fuck is even close to being as big as Michael Jordan? And I was like, golf and Tiger Woods, maybe. But how entertaining golf, would a yeah. golf movie be? I mean, they could that probably figure it out, but man. Tiger Woods. Yeah, is that, the that would be a rough of. ride. Serena Williams and it tennis, makes sense. yeah, I guess. It makes sense, too, because, like, basketball only has five players, so you only have to pull five Looney Tunes into it, you know? That's true. Yeah. And, like, football would be a whole-ass thing. Yeah, <laughs> and the Warner, Warner Brothers were kind of struggling already with, like, limited cast for their cartoon characters. I read that they, like, had the stands fill, like, the stadium filled up with, characters from the universe and they had to like copy paste it like fucking 15 times to get them all over to just kind of make it look like a full stadium because they didn't really have enough cartoon characters to fill it up that's pretty funny um player would work yeah i I guess i was curious what the box office was i didn't look that up earlier but 80 million for the budget 250 million in the box office Honestly, seems low to me. It seems like it would have been higher, but maybe that's just because I watched it a million times. <laughs> yeah. 150? I don't know how that's a lot for that time. That, well, I fuck. I, I guess Independence Day came out the same year and destroyed that, didn't it? Yeah. Oh, maybe was like that 800 or something? <laughs> right? I don't know. Maybe I'm just yeah. pulling that I mean, out of my ass. I mean, era of, like, you know, Jurassic Park and shit. I think I saw that it was the highest grossing basketball movie, which, I, to, okay, to be fair, I can't name three other basketball movies off the top of my head, but, <laughs> um, and like the 10th highest grossing movie of that year, which isn't that impressive, I guess, but hmm. I don't know. I think, I think the thing about it too, is that it was, there was, there was definitely reluctance for this movie to kind of go through. You know, like a, a lot of actors that they were kind of considering, it was like, uh, I don't know if I want to go near that one. And yeah, I, what was it? They were like trying to get someone that wasn't Michael Jordan, right? But then like he was the best fit for yeah. the part. Or I something. think they were trying to get more of an actor. Yeah. But dude, but then that, I, I know. if they got just good. like some actor, I don't know. It, it just wouldn't have worked, yeah. in my opinion. Like it, 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 kind, it kind of needed to be for like, like the, the same movie, the same yeah, family, for, basketball and everything. Yeah. yeah, yeah, which That's like absolutely weird. wouldn't work because they didn't know if he yeah, acted or whatever. But I think he did pretty good, considering yeah, like I thought it was fine. Yeah, I think I saw it. Oh my god, I need to confirm this shit before we start. I'm pretty sure I saw that this was like the first movie that ever had like a fully digital set, like a full ass green screen room, and him yeah. just acting against like nothing for him acting against nothing with right. no background behind him. Yeah, and no pretty acting good. background really. Like yeah. That- but like he's playing himself, you know. That's true. So it's not that crazy. Jordan, yeah. was, we were talking about this, me and Jordan, because we watched it together, and she was like, 
oh, it must have been such a big ask. I was like, yeah, such a big ask to be like, here's a millions of dollars. Can you play yourself in this fucking movie? Like, come on, dude. A big yeah. ask. But no, I I think it's it was fine. And, you know, if the movie didn't open with like a 15 minute Michael Jordan fan cam, I don't think it would have <laughs> been the same. That shit is so fucking it's hype. It's so long. It's but so like every long. That's the thing, and I, I watched this with Samantha, and we were having a conversation through that entire fucking um, montage. And I'm just like, that's kind of every movie, like, pre-2000, like, 90s and back, is just a ridiculously long intro to the film. Where now they're, like, four seconds. It, like, shows the fucking title, and then you're, you're in. Yeah. Because our attention right. spans are shit, I guess. <laughs> but, well, I was just cracking up at, like, how they would show... They would put, like... It would be, like, Wayne Knight, and it's just, like, over a picture of Michael Jordan, <laughs> you know? Bugs Bunny. Yeah, Michael Jordan slamming it. Dude, those title yeah. cards were really cool. I thought... I was like, oh, fuck. There was I'm in, fun. dude. Especially because that's yeah. after the... When he was a kid scene, right? Yeah. Yeah, that shit so stuck in my head so much too for some reason like that whole beginning it did yeah but and that i think yeah that's a good point it does play a role in like graduating us from his childhood to post basketball career so like you see all of the in between oh that's true yeah but, <laughs> just fast forward through his life real quick to get to the point where yeah. <laughs> so i guess it's not totally useless but it just it is long and it was funny yeah dude and i didn't realize that so Jordan, is it right that he retired in 93 and then returned, or wait, was it retired in 93 and returned in 95, I think? Something yeah. like that, from from, ba from basketball. I think so, yeah. He did this like, like right between. <laughs> how cool is this, like, that it's kind of a revisionist history where it's just like, this is why he came back to basketball. Yeah. But I didn't make that connection until I was an adult, until just now. I was just like, oh, shit. Thanks, Looney Tunes. Came back because he played for the Toon Squad. <laughs> How cool was that? It was fun. Yeah. But, okay, so I guess, like, to talk not so highly of the movie, like, Michael, Michael Jordan's, like, character arc, I guess, kind of sucks. Like, he never really cares that much that any of this is happening, and he's not, like, shocked at all, and it's just weird to me. Yeah. He's like, I'm here, it's... yeah, fuck, it was play basketball. And, like... There was so many opportunities, like, when they first meet the kids and stuff. And, like, I don't know, there's that whole scene where his kid is, like, all upset that he was did bad at baseball or whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't know, there could have been this, like, through line of, like, don't give up on your dreams or something. Like, some shit with the mm -hmm. kids. And they just, there was just nothing yeah. like that. He's there just watching TV, he's like, shit, I suck too. I don't know what to tell you. Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> baseball's hard. Like, the kids could have just been at the game and, like, it would have probably made it more personal yeah. for him or something to not become was... a slave and do whatever the fuck is gonna do if they lose i don't know yeah i really like the kids too yeah I like the scenes that they were in were good dude how fucking um, creepy is that scene with them when the team when they're watching the looney tunes and they just fucking leave and it just sits oh, there yeah it's uh, eerie like, <laughs> it's weird yeah it's, it's very creepy, creepy. Ugh. Uh, yeah, it was so when when Michael Jordan's playing baseball, like, I wonder if that shit happened where like he would strike out and everybody would cheer. You know, it had to. Oh, like, I'm it sure had it, to, had, right? it had. To. We're here to see Michael Jordan. Yeah, even though he sucked. Yeah, and then you like, you know, you're probably beating yourself up because you know you're doing shit, but everybody's just cheering. Like, that has to be such a weird thing well, like, to experience. And I was talking to Samantha about that when we were watching, and I was just like. Imagine being a famous professional athlete and you're just like, eh, I'll just jump to another sport. Like, I've never really played it that much. I've never played it on, like, any sort of professional level. Has he? I don't know. I mean, obviously, he was in the, the major, league, major league, but, like, before that, did he have any kind of background in baseball? Or did he just hop in, like, I don't know, maybe I'll try tennis next week. Like, fuck it, I'm Michael Jordan. I want to say that the that little part where his, at the beginning with his dad was a baseball player or whatever he's like, gonna be a baseball player like you or whatever i think that's kind of true like his dad was a baseball player and that's why he wanted to do it i yeah. think mm -hmm. i think he played in college yeah. james says bass baseball i guess okay I, well oh, cool. that makes a little more sense but then to just be on the professional but yeah he's like i think i'll play professional baseball and just like whoa bro you gonna try out yeah. or <laughs> what the fuck yeah no no he, he's like no i'm gonna sign up for whatever fucking team i want like, <laughs> yeah. what are they gonna do i'm michael jordan 
Yeah. But I enjoyed the, the jabs they all had at him for how bad his baseball career was, like, kind of throughout. That was pretty funny. Yeah. Was it that short-lived? Was it, what is that, one season, two seasons, 93 to 95? I, went, I don't know. I don't think he ever went back. I hope not. <laughs> but not that I care that much about baseball, but, you know. 93-94, it says. Stint in minor league baseball. That's what Wikipedia oh, says. Oh, okay, so. All right, well, hmm. I don't know. I'm talking my ass. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> well, <laughs> just... Taryn, you're talking about a, a story arc with kids from the guy who did fuck them kids. Fuck them kids, <laughs> dude. Don't that was that, that was happen. for the press tour of this movie, actually. That quote. <laughs> was it really? No, I'm just kidding. Oh, that would be so funny. <laughs> what's What's the story behind "fuck them kids"? Isn't it like he, like, like he promised some shoes or something for everyone at a summer camp or some shit? Someone like got, bat him or something. They were like, if you can sink this, like, if you don't sink this three, you gotta buy shoes for all these kids here in this camp or whatever, or something like that. And he just yeah. fucking buckets that. Or it shit. was like I, I feel like I saw a video where he he had to make like multiple threes or something. It was like seven, like three pointers in a row, and he's like splash, 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 yeah. splash, splash. Fuck them kids. That's probably <laughs> uh, yeah. I love yeah. that. It's so funny. I mean, did he actually donate the shoes in the end or not? Probably not. Like, pro like that's probably <laughs> why it's that quote is fuck them kid. I mean, the man is a savage. And I kind of think that that's why he has that reputation of kind of being, being an, an asshole. asshole is because yeah. he's just like about the business and just about like, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> just like, making, like looking out for himself. I don't know. I I've never met the guy. I have seen him play though. I did see him play uh, when he was on the Wizards. Oh wow! Which is kind yeah. of a cool thing to be able to say. I wasn't really into basketball, but my brother was, and we went to go see. I think it was the Wizards versus the Suns or something. But oh wow! That's yeah, I was sick. like, holy shit! I'm watching Michael Jordan play basketball. <laughs> That's but, cool. That's cool. Yeah, I, um, I, if you haven't seen it, you gotta look it up. It's the somebody made like a Nike ad. You know, they're always like black and white and all that shit. Mm -hmm. And it's like one of his, and they just photoshopped the words out and put "fuck them kids." <laughs> oh, and is that what that Nike is? He's just like smirking. It's yeah. so funny. Yeah. I love it. It's really yeah. good, man. <laughs> That's so funny. It's so good. All right, we went this long. I think we're like thirty minutes in without talking about the first new character introduced in this movie of the Looney Tunes, Lola Bunny. Dude, I didn't know that oh, until yeah. today. Until yeah. Today. I didn't know that. Well, and then I was I was curious when I was watching it today, because Bugs sees her and he's like, oh my God, who is this? He doesn't know who she right. is. That's true. I'm like, oh, she has to be new. Lola Bunny taught me more about becoming, uh, like learning some things about being a, a oh, little man. boy at the time than I care to admit. But He's... I am admitting openly right now. Holy, dude, what? She's so sexualized. It's like, it's crazy. It's honestly crazy. And four-year-old me couldn't handle it. I like <laughs> lost my mind. I was like, what is this feeling? I'm surprised I'm not a furry right now. Damn it. I'm I was really trying honest. to cut in to be like, and that's why he's a furry today. <laughs> no, oh like, and we, yeah, we blame, the, we, we blame people for being furry. Well, no one's blaming people for being furries, but we, whatever. And it's just like, you saw Lola Bunny in 96, dude? Are you kidding me? I don't Did know what was Did she actually go into other Looney Tunes shit after this? I remember her in the baby one for sure. Whatever the fuck that shit was called. Tiny okay. Tunes. There it is. Got it. Tiny Tunes. She was in that yeah. for sure, but I don't remember anything else. Um, but you say she was so sexualized. I don't. I didn't. It was not as bad as I thought it was, considering it, all the hubbub that they made about the new one and like desexualizing her. Yeah. It's like. That's. I guess I they know, just made maybe. her have regular ass basketball shorts instead of those short ass ones she had. Like. Yeah. Well, and then she also has like the cutoff jersey. But there's probably some under bunny boob in there. I don't know. Like, <laughs> under bunny boob? I watched it. <laughs> I rewinded it multiple times. I rewinded it a lot of times. Enhance. But she, I don't know. I was, she wasn't like as like, 
I don't know. I just expect her to be like super curvy and like. I don't know. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, I guess, is all. But. I mean, it was still like. You know. Right. Still max on bugs after like a day of knowing him. It's fine. But bugs also max on Michael Jordan, so let's give him some credit. That's true. Queer icon, like actually. Max on him first. Um, yeah. But then, when he like gets all stiff and falls, that shit was actually funny. Dude, Na- now I know. I'm like, that oh. <laughs> That's so off boiling. Yeah. That's. Yeah, no, it, it is. It is weird that it was like such a thing. I'm just glad I'm not alone. Maybe I'm alone in this panel right now, but I'm not alone in. No, like, I'm sure I something. <laughs> something happened back then. I don't but yeah, that like that, that was probably my first like celebrity quote unquote crush which doesn't make sense because it's a cartoon <laughs> but what i'm saying is i was into anime before all of you nerds so <laughs> oh wow og weeb over here <laughs> og <Wow>. self proclaimed <laughs> that's funny oh that's doing terrible. some weird stuff in your trench coat huh <laughs> at a young age oh man dude she was basically the only female character in this whole movie too which i didn't realize Maybe like, or besides like mm-hmm. his wife and the grandma from Tweety or whatever. <laughs> it's like, wait, oh yeah, because yeah. isn't Tweety male? Isn't yeah, that a male yeah. bird. Yep. Yeah, that's another mind fuck. But, oh yeah. So let's. All right, we haven't talked about the soundtrack. Hold on, real quick. And... Oh. Or okay, song yeah. Lola, just real quick. I just want to be upset that, not upset. I don't know. I love Zendaya, but they just have her as Lola Bunny. In the new one, but all of the other oh. the other characters, like, no fucking attention to who they, those people are. I have no idea who plays those, the other characters. It's like, why? Oh. I don't know. It's just like, there's voice actors out there. Just let them have jobs, please. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's why I have, I'm starting to feel about the game industry, dude, when they keep putting like actors into the games. Mm-hmm. Like, known actors. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's, there is, like, small, that's more acting, though. That's more acting than being in a booth and talking, I think. Because you actually are mo- they mocap out of them. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I get it. But it's just still weird. Yeah. I don't know. It's just like when it's like LeBron James, Bugs Bunny, and Zendaya as Lola Bunny. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's so weird. I don't know. Gotta make that money, dude. A shout out to Billy yeah. West, who plays Bugs Bunny and Elmer Fudd in this movie. Yeah. Love him. He plays a, He's a fry in Futurama, by the way. Love that oh guy. really? He's oh, a cool. fucking nice. awesome dude. Yeah, the person who plays Lola Bunny is in. She's like a, a pretty known. She she plays a bunch of different characters. I think she plays the twins in Rugrats. Oh wow! Like a couple of yeah. That's cool. What is her name? Um, Kath Sousy? Something huh. like that. That sounds right. Yeah. yeah. James asked if is it the Asian dude doing bugs in the new movie? It is. I don't remember his name, but I was looking earlier. I was like, who is actually playing them? I'm like, why didn't they just get my boy Billy? But anyway, <laughs> boy Billy. okay. Music. Anyway, soundtrack. Yes, dude, so fucking iconic, and probably just you know again because we were little kids and like this was our first like holy shit club jams like that. <laughs> I'm so hype. We we use that music for the intro or like for our you know intro to our pre show. And like I was ready to come in, I was just like, because that's the song that they use when they're coming out on, on the court for the first time. It's so fucking hype. It's so good. This is the yeah. most '90s movie of all fucking time, I think. Like, I don't Probably know. Right. The music is just perfect, man. I remember this shit. I had the CD with the half of Bugs and half of Michael Jordan. Yep, half of Jordan. Yep. Had that shit. I believe I can fly as a fucking banger, dude. Even yeah. though, like, fuck R. Kelly, but that song, even <laughs> when it, the sixth time it plays in this movie, you're still like, fuck yeah, dude, let's go. Just like, I believe I can fly. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. Yep. Yeah. Soundtrack. What is the other Amazing. one? There's one more. Oh, um. What is it? Oh my god. Not. Is that. That's the seal one. That's not. Is that seal? That's Batman. Uh, Batman. Yeah, yeah. What song does he do? Oh, Fly Like an Eagle. There you go. Right? That song yeah. fucking kicks so much Fly ass, too. Fly Like an Eagle. Oh, yeah. that's... He's in... Seal is on the soundtrack as well? Yeah, he's the Fly yeah. Like an Eagle. He covers that song. Wow. It's so There's kind of a lot of crossover in the soundtrack to Batman, then. 
<laughs> he was on Batman. Oh, R. Kelly shit. was on Batman. Oh my god. Wow. And they both slap. Fuck yeah. Dude. These are some early age slappers for us. Some <laughs> early slappers for us. But dude, yeah, looking at the soundtrack too, there's like a song with like Busta Rhymes and like four other rappers and shit. I'm like, damn. Like they went all out on wow. this. And that fucking song that I'd never like noticed before somehow was the Basketball oh, Jones gosh. that plays oh, during like the, all the players like being in the hospital and shit. Just the that super deep low voice. voice. Yeah, Chris so Rock just like weird. talking oh, over it. It's so random, but it's so fucking good. Yeah, it's really weird. It's a good ass soundtrack. And then, of course, the classic come on and slam yep yep come on and slam. the hundred fucking re remixes i've heard of that song put over like other songs and shit it's so dude I, i'm actually so curious to see how many similarities or like how many um nods to the original that the second one's gonna have because like it, it feels like it has to have some iteration of of the of the soundtrack, the original soundtrack. Obviously, some new Let's ones. Be some fucking. Oh, I was gonna yeah. say dubstep remixes, but maybe that's too old. Dubstep is, I think, over. I think. Yeah, it's, yeah. What it's would it be? It's EDM, trap fucking yeah. version. Yeah. <laughs> some yeah. It's just some deep fucking house. It's just <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, there's some club mixes, dude. Oh yeah. Other world is sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Iconic. Well, they have to, right? They yeah, have to do it again. And like anyone. another thing that I'm really excited to see is like there has to be the game winning point, right? Like the the iconic Michael Jordan arm stretch thing that like all of us yeah. did as kids pretended to do, right? You know, like dude, I still what is it gonna be with LeBron? It's whatever it is, it's not gonna be as good, I'm telling you right now. It can't it's like it definitely can't be. Good. Dude, every time we play like beer pong or something. I always remember that because I'm just like, uh, just yeah. drop it in or something. <laughs> it's just it. ingrained. Yeah. I, I don't know. Like, it feels like they have to do something that is going to be the buzzer beater. But it's just, and okay, that's the thing that sucks too is like, we're all obviously expecting that. So it's, it just automatically can't live up to the hype. I don't know. Unless they lose. Who are they playing against? It's, it's like actual basketball players this time that are like morphed into weird shit, I think. Okay. I'm pretty sure. I don't fully remember, but I know Clay Thompson yeah. is one of them. That is gonna be a hard uh a hard thing to try to live up to. Because like, like I, I if it's like... not if it's not there everyone's pissed, and if it's there yeah. but it's obviously not gonna be good enough, everyone's it's like, pissed. Oh, like it's right already. Yeah, there's no way to win. It's in, a catch twenty two. Yeah. Unless they just totally we'll stomp them and it's I don't know. Totally <laughs> maybe that's not the climax. Maybe there's some maybe shit. yeah. Maybe Toon Squad oh, loses, true. and then it's just like, oh shit! It's a best of seven finals game, and then the <laughs> movie's five hours long. And we watch. Oh, you have to watch game. parts of it every other day for two weeks. <laughs> yeah, you have yeah, to subscribe no. to the. <laughs> um, but yeah, the the game scene. Yeah, in this movie was so fucking short. I don't remember it, it being it, that short and like not that crazy. Besides, like obviously was, the arm stretch. I don't know. I, I think that may have had a lot to do with just like the the limitations they had with Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan having to play basketball against, you know, nothing. Nothing. Well, yeah. I, there were people in suits, right? Like in little. I think there were like little improv actors and stuff who were kind of. In suits, probably you know, in a green screen kind of thing. Uh -huh. right. But still, that had to have been difficult, especially for someone who was not an actor. Yeah, but they but... could have had the cartoons do literally anything, something. <laughs> you know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Where the fuck not was Roadrunner? Fact. That'd be OP, dude. That gets oh, dude, Roadrunner was a Hey, stop. That's true too. Just animating all that, you know? Yeah. Yeah. They I mean, they turned it into a joke, which was kind of funny, like when it's just showing the score going up forever, and then it's just like kind of one-sided, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And then they jump into like the halftime, you know, hurrah in the lockers. Which was very like, weird this time. time. I was like, what are you, you teaching kids? You just take this fucking, these steroids or whatever, and you'll be good. It's like, there could have been some kind <laughs> of it, emotional beat to this. I think it was like... I don't know, like a five-hour energy or something. Like, as a kid, I was just like, oh, this just, like, hypes you up. But then also, I just remember that so much. It's just like, 
it's just water like that famous you know that line yeah. that he has and i'm just like guys it is in all of us we we do have that. <laughs> yeah inspirational spark it's not steroids i don't know i feel like there could have been more like with the kids i don't know like it was i was saying earlier like something that made it feel a big yeah no i, I agree like with you. a big story arc of like redemption of like why michael needs to win because at the end he's just like oh if we lose it's i'll go right. with you <laughs> He's like, if we lose, I'll go with you and be a slave. And then Bugs like, you shouldn't have made that deal. And he's like, oh, it's okay. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's just like, it's <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah. It's like I have faith. Um, but something I noticed. The goat, what? That he knows he's the goat. True. Even yeah. the the game winning plan, everything comes together. He's like, just give me the ball. Bill Murray's like, just get it to Michael. It's all yeah. good. <laughs> but um, something weird I noticed was. It was 76 to like 67 or something cuts away cuts back and then it's 77 to 76 or whatever like it just like jumped 10 points and nothing happened mm. and i actually yeah. saw like a theory is like oh marvin martian's fucking helping him cheat or some shit <laughs> i was like okay. oh my god i don't know the, i don't know it was just yeah weird. i don't know following the sequence of time on, on that game was a little rough like you said Terry, it, it was it felt short Definitely yeah felt short. I, there was like some but fun, funny... like still fun. yeah, for okay. sure, yeah, the yeah. Pulp Fiction reference in a kids movie. I don't, kind of weird, but which one was what that? What was that? With the Wiley e. Coyote or not Wiley e. Coyote? Uh, Yosemite Sam and is it Elmer when they have like suits and the guns or whatever? Oh, that's oh, right. that song where they're shooting his teeth out. And then after that part. It was like the hardest cut. It was it, so it, yes. weird. I noticed oh, that after they shoot the music. Yeah. It's like oh, 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 it's just like the what's yeah. that song called? I don't know. Like surf rock shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That that was weird. It was such a I thought I thought freaking Hulu skipped or something. I was like, what 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 Yeah, I was but like, did they no, cut something just, out of this? Was, <laughs> was there some yeah, and I was like, shit? That's, that's <laughs> bad editing. Like what the hell? That's that's weird. Yeah. But Bitch, um I didn't even catch the Pulp Fiction thing. That's cool. I didn't put that together either. I was like, what is this? And then I saw someone say that's what it was. And I was like, I haven't seen Pulp Fiction yeah. in like 10 years. Thanks. I don't fucking know. But, uh, what the fuck was I going to say? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Um, man, like that kind of, kind of wraps up the, the ending scene. Well, and then you have Michael, like, go back in the spaceship and again like no one's really that concerned about a spaceship yeah michael Jordan's back yeah yeah they're just like oh yeah he's back and then i don't know he probably loses that baseball game i don't know if they showed it but <laughs> yeah um yeah and then and then returns to the nba yeah and he gives all the homies their powers back oh that's right thing. that's right which was yeah that was that was cool cool little scene mm-hmm yeah, yeah that, when you much... when you talk about it, there's really not a lot to this movie. Like it's pretty straightforward. I yeah, it it definitely is just for me. It's just like nostalgia, you know. Yeah, dude. Just I'm remembering. Yeah, totally. I don't know if I like felt if I had never if I had ever. never seen this movie and this was my first watch ever. Man, this would be a dog shit movie. <laughs> like, yeah, it probably would be. You know, but just how how in love i was with this movie as a kid uh-huh i enjoyed it i enjoyed it so should we jump right into ratings yeah ready to go first well turn we'll yeah, take sure, it. Man. dude you're talking about nostalgia i don't know if i've ever felt this much this much nostalgia watching this movie yesterday dude it was weird really because like i was singing I saw something like on Twitter or something. He's like, what are three movies that you've seen over five times? And I was like, nothing. What the fuck? And then I was watching this and I was like, this fucking movie I've <laughs> yeah. seen probably so many times, dude. Everything was just coming back to me as it went on and on. And I was like, holy shit, dude. It was just a trip to watch. Like, I I was like you. I was like scared it was going to be trash. I mean, it's not yeah. like great, but fuck, man. The feelings that I got were well worth. Oh, oh yeah. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Just, it's easy to compare it to Who Framed Roger Rabbit because it's, like, live action, whatever the fuck in that movie, obviously. Crossover, yeah. Way better at that. 
like the animation in both like size and stuff but uh they are still good in this there were some scenes like we really talk about the when they break into michael Jack jordan's michael jackson michael jordan's house <laughs> that shit looks so good it like it had to have been like a hand that they they picked up like a shoe or shorts or something and it looked so fucking real like the yeah, i don't know it was no, weird yeah. And I even when they're getting there and the ground is like breaking, <laughs> yeah. that, those are like that definitely practical effects, right? Yeah, like yeah, they had like yeah. they had something that they were pulling under that. It looked really had good, to. though. Right? Mm -hmm. And I remember, I, I still have the PS One Space Jam game, dude, that I used to play all the time. I remember oh, that like nice. it was like in between a, like a game you play a game or whatever, and then in between you'd go to his house and you have to like platform up to get the fucking shoe and shit. And the dog oh, was trying cool. to get you. Oh my god, dude! I was just like, fuck me. Um, oh, the dog. <laughs> Apparently, his name is Charles Barkley. Charles, <laughs> Charles Barkley. Oh my god! Oh my god! That's I was amazing. Like, that's hilarious. Wow. That's um, good. Yeah. Um, I thought I was actually surprised with the acting from the basketball players. Like even Michael Jordan wasn't like super great, but the other basketball players were so fucking funny, dude. Like when they're in the hospital and like going through the therapist and all that shit. Yeah, it was yeah. so fucking funny. Talking about talking to uh, what's his name? Fuck. Ewan Steve Steve Ewan? No, I don't know. Whatever his name is. Yeah, yeah. He's like, "Do you have any other performance issues at home?" And he's just like, <laughs> "No." He turns around. <laughs> yeah. But the song that's playing, it's just like, yeah. Yeah, like, that's that. So that's funny, funny, dude. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. Oh gosh. Yeah, iconic soundtrack. Like we were saying, it's just a fun time even though there's not much to it. Yeah. Um, being directed by a fucking commercial director was pretty crazy, too. Like, his only movie or whatever. Um, like, literal commercials? Yeah, he did the, uh, like, the Bugs Bunny, Michael Jordan That's commercials crazy. that he was uh, mentioning earlier. That's yeah. Quite... <laughs> the whole thing is kind of a commercial. Yeah, literally. Fucking, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's a commercial. <laughs> but, uh... Funny. All the fucking uh, Bill Murray shit was so funny this time, dude. The meta jokes were, like, perfect. Like, he was just amazing for no reason. Like, it just seemed like he was just, like, he just walked on set. He's like, oh, shit, I want to be in this. And they were just like, it's Bill Murray. I'm not going to fucking say no. Like, go ahead. <laughs> and he just said whatever, and it was just good. Yeah. Uh, Wayne Knight was actually pretty funny. Kind of fucking silly. Yeah. I'm trying to think. I don't know. Just have so much nostalgia for this movie that I can I can't hate on it, dude. It's it's fucking awesome. I know I'm right there with you, man. I don't know how to fucking rate it though, cause it's like it's not good, it's not great, <laughs> right. but it's I love it still. I just love it. Maybe like a six five. Does that sound okay? I don't okay. know. Okay. Yeah. Six point five. Sounds good. Six out of ten coming from Taryn. Uh, do you want to go next? You want me to take it? Uh, I'll go. Go for it. Um, so, yeah, the the only thing that really stands out to me in, in this experience of watching this movie is that it had been so long, and I don't know if I've ever had, like, a real, like, warm, like, almost physical wave of nostalgia come over me in anything, mm -hmm. and this gave that to me, which it was just weird to, like, feel, I don't know. It just like blew my mind open and like made me remember a bunch of childhood memories and shit like that. I don't know, it was kind of crazy. Um, but I totally get that like, if that is not your connection to this movie, then the movie's dog shit. Like, oh yeah, if you have no skin in this game, it's it's dog shit. And I get that. Yeah, and it makes it hard to rate. Like Tan said, it's like, you know, there's you have love for it. You know it's bad, but you have love for it, and uh. I don't know. Just weird. The soundtrack slapped. Uh, the jokes were funny. All those revisiting those old jokes that you miss as a kid is one of my favorite parts of watching these old, you know, mm -hmm. like kid movies. Just getting that little bit that they throw in for the parents. Um, but yeah, I, it's, I don't know. It's, it got me hyped or whatever for Space Jam 2, but now I'm like, fuck, it's probably going to suck, or it's going to be weird, or it's not going to live up, blah, 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 but I'm still going to watch it, so I guess it worked. But I'm excited to 
go and see it. Um, I'm glad to have watched this again and have it fresh in my mind. Um, but for me, yeah, it's, I mean, it's not very good. So I, I think it's like <laughs> a six. And I, I'm, I don't know shit about basketball either. Like, I'm not attached to that. Right. right. Like, I feel like that would make a big difference too. But yeah, six. That sounds about right for me. Six out of ten from Jade. Yeah, I, I think just echoing what we've all really with this movie was nostalgia. You know, like, I don't know. Like I said, I, I can't really remember a movie. And I think it does it so well because it's hitting nostalgia on, like, two levels. I was not really a big basketball fan, but my older brothers were growing up. And, you know, like, they were all about Bulls, you know, like the, the mid, the early 80s Bulls and, and Jordan. And so seeing that aspect of it like really took me back to my childhood but also the cartoons so like it, it worked on both of those levels so it was just it was such a treat and I, like i said in the beginning of the episode i was i was really afraid to revisit this movie because i was just going to be terrible and nothing was going to work and the cg was going to be bad but like to surprise like so many of the jokes landed and like not the super intelligent meta jokes where you're just like oh I, i'm an adult now and i get it the stupid like bonk on the head jokes like yeah just just worked for me and i was like pleasantly surprised like, it like took me back and i was just like able to just enjoy this as a dumb kid you know like yeah, he doesn't know anybody. the fucking i forgot about like when the aliens are like the small versions of themselves their lines are fucking hilarious <laughs> yeah and their and their voices like the little baby what like the oh man their voices are so cute and just so fun yeah yeah, and I don't know. I think this movie just did so much for the revival of Looney Tunes. And I don't know. I remember back in the 90s, like, everyone I fucking knew had one of those little coffee cup mug things that had a Looney Tunes character's face on it. Like, I had Bugs Bunny. My brother had Taz. Like, my friends had, you know, like, it was just all of these different, I don't know. It, it just, everyone had them. They were, they were a big deal. I know Looney Tunes were a big deal. And... Man, I gotta give a special shout out to Lola Bunny for making me feel feelings that I didn't know I had as a, a little five year old Adrian just uh yeah, discovering myself. Later, yeah. And you still need a bonk, dude. Need a bonk. <laughs> yeah, I need a bonk. I'm glad they desexualized Loli Lola Bunny in uh, the new one because I wouldn't be able to handle it. I would have to leave the theater. I've just been just take your trench coat, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's terrible. Um, yeah, but I, you know, again, yeah, soundtrack so fucking good, so iconic, and like songs that I wouldn't have otherwise listened to as a little five year old. Like I'm not gonna just listen to "Fly Like an Eagle," you know. Like, but I don't know. It's just all of these fun songs that I remember today from Space Jam. Like Jay was saying, I'm excited to see Space Jam two. I'm so happy that I watched the first one again, but I think that it might be to Space Jam 2's detriment because I, oh, I yeah. think that it's just not going to be able yeah. to live up to... I, it's funny to say because I don't think Space Jam's a great movie, but it's still not going to be able to live up to that area of nostalgia. And it's going to... It just has to be a disappointment in my opinion. So yeah. this is already my score for Space Jam 2. <laughs> not, but, um, but for... The original Space Jam, 1996. I think it's it's a solid seven, solid seven out of ten. For wow, me. sure. So that's where I'm at. Let me see what that brings us. James, to. give us a number in chat. I want to know. Oh shit! Is James gonna rate this? Alonzo's probably pounding his desk over there. Oh yeah, he, I rate some of his. Oh here we go. Eight, eight out of ten. ten. Holy moly! Soldier is a hell of a drug, and I'll take a hundred more hits, brother. <laughs> hell yeah! Damn. Damn. Are we including that in the fumbler score? If you will, I mean, yeah, why not? If we want to, yeah. Plus eight, divided by four. All right, that doesn't bring the score up that much. So collective <laughs> six point eight seven five. Chief said, "Nah, <laughs> don't include." Nah. It. Too we late. included it, James. It's too late. Six point eight. Thanks for the boost. Um, we'd love to know what you guys think. Stay tuned for our episode next week. We're going to be reviewing Space Jam 2, A New Legacy. I think it's just called Space Jam, A New Legacy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm excited for it. I don't know. I'm not letting my hopes get too high for it. But 
yeah, we'll see you guys next week. Make sure you're following all of our socials. Find all of those at filmfumblers.com. Until then, we will see you guys next time. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Cheers.